my great privilege this morning to be welcoming you, sir, on your first full day in Sydney, having arrived only yesterday. And thank you very, very much for joining us at breakfast this morning. Well, thank you very much indeed for those kind words of introduction, George, and uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you didn't have to uh, all struggle up, struggle out of bed too early this morning to get here, but uh, rather, rather fine surroundings to have breakfast, I think. Anyway, so fantastic. And um, I, I recognise that voice who started singing the uh, national anthem only too clearly. So, Gavin, very nice to see you again, too. Good to see you. Michael, thank you very much indeed for uh, the, the fantastic support you and, uh, and Zip gives to the award in, uh, in Australia. Um, it's, it's a, you've, the, the support and the enthusiasm that you have uh, uh, brought to the award has been tremendous and, and uh, the energy that you have brought to the, the board in, in person as well uh, um, is testament to the, the, the fact of the number of people here that you've managed to uh, persuade to come along this morning. And, uh, but the whole uh, energy that you have infused the award program in, in Australia has been absolutely fantastic. So we really, really do appreciate it. And I know that this is not the only... Uh, charitable organisation that you support. I know that you're involved in, in a lot of other charities, especially with the arts and, and obviously the gallery here and, and also with the development of, of young Australians. So we're particularly grateful that the Duke of Edinburgh's Award in Australia is one of that stable. Um, and as a matter of interest, as I look around here, is, are, are there any other fellow award holders in the room by any chance? Uh, there, oh, one or two hands, yes. Oh, look, there's another one there. Oh, yes, there, there are a few. Excellent. Oh, I'm delighted. I'm delighted with that. So, that, and but has anybody got any children who are doing the award? No, just a few, or nephews, or nieces, or cousins. So, so oh, there you go. So, it's not quite such a, a, a complete secret then in Australia, which is fantastic. Um, and uh, it's um, we're, we're, we're a bit like that. The award is, is a very much a, a, a very well kept secret, um, and that's mostly around the world. It just doesn't happen just in Australia. Um, but that's very simply because the award um, is a bit like Intel, if you've ever heard of Intel. It's, I think it's a small American company which <laughs> produces microchips. Most of you probably haven't got a clue what a microchip is particularly, but you all know that you, if you're going to buy a computer, or you, you know, that you have to have a, a, an Intel inside. And when you go off, you know what a computer looks like, and you, you can all name dozens of computer companies. Well, the award's a bit like that. If you're sending your children to school, you know what a school looks like. The award doesn't build schools. The award doesn't run youth clubs. The award doesn't run youth organisations. No, no, no. We're the programme that runs inside. We're the ones that make those schools just a little bit better, that offers a little bit more in a youth club, that makes a youth organisation have a little bit more focus to what they're trying to do. That's what the award does. We operate on the inside. And that's why we're such a well-kept secret because we don't have the resources of Intel to go and convince you all that if you go back and, and, and go to a school, you need to look for the one that's, got, that's running the award on the inside. So what is this thing? What is this program? Michael's done a very good uh, little description. I call it the unusual, daring and exciting youth development program. It's open to all 14 to 25 year olds and uh, it basically equips those young people with life skills and practical experiences that will enable them to go on whatever life throws at them in the future and hopefully to make a positive contribution to their societies, wherever they are. Mind you, saying it's open to all is a really difficult challenge for any charity. We've got to reach out to any young Australian, wherever they might be. But the difference we can make for any young, young Australian can be tremendous. But for you, as business leaders, as employers, I'm going to focus just on, on one particular benefit for you, which is that you're all out, all out there looking for the best young people to employ. Now, I defy you to have a meaningful conversation about any young person's academic qualifications that last more than about 20 seconds. I defy you to be able to maintain a conversation any longer than that. If you know they've done the award, you see that on their CV you can start engaging them in a conversation that revolves around, well, what, do they, what skills have they learned? What experiences have they had? Um, you know, what, what sport do they do? What are their passions? What are their hobbies? What makes them get out of bed in the morning? What makes them want to come and work for you? And that's what the award tells you. It's probably about the most important non-formal qualification there is now in the world. In Britain, 
uh, a survey of the top employers in Britain all place the Duke of Edinburgh's award as the most important qualification after the academic qualifications in terms of their employment. And I hope very much now that you've had a little bit about this that you maybe think about that and you'll go out and maybe you'll help, as Michael is doing, a few more young Australians the chance, the opportunity from whatever background to get involved in this programme and maybe one day together we'll be able to help a few more young people make that often difficult transition from being a young person to being a responsible young adult. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed.